Welcome back to Comic Book Hero. Had a request on how you should ship your books to CGC, CBCS. Even though you see the CGC symbol right back here, uh, CBCS is fine. If you want to ship it to PGX, that's cool as well. The whole idea is about shipping the book and ensuring that it arrives there without too much of a problem. First things first, your book should be bagged and boarded. You should have a standard comic book bag with a standard comic book board. Now, in your shipping, you always want to ship priority mail. Most people are going to have quicker access to the post office than UPS, even though they may feel that one is better than the other. If you're using the post office, you want to ship priority mail. Why? Priority mail is two, three days max with the post office. The less time that your book has to be spent being handled by someone, the less chance it will have of being damaged. Even if that's the case, that you use priority mail, you want to insure the book for the value that you believe it's worth. Now, don't try to commit any fraud, people, but the whole idea is that, look, if you believe that book is worth $50, if you believe that book is going to be worth a certain amount of money once graded, you think you have a really high quality book, insure your book for that amount. So if anything happens, if there's any damage, and the post office will pay that out. So make certain that happens. You also want to ship your book in what's called a comic book mailer. Okay, these are standard mailers that you can put magazines, soft covered books in as well. Using one of these also tends to ensure it as well. A whole bunch of bubble wrap and everything of that nature people like to use doesn't really matter when it comes to a book. A book isn't fragile in that particular nature. What a comic book mailer does is that it keeps it flat and it makes it so that it can't be bent. Once you're putting it in with whatever mailer, make certain that thing is marked well. You want to mark it with three things. Mark it fragile, mark it handle with care, and please mark do not bend. You can get some of those markings from the post office. If you're somebody who's going to do regular posting, buy a stamp. I've done it. Have a stamp made that just says do not bend. Stamp it at least two or three times. Make certain it's on there because the people at the post office are human beings just like yourself. Sometimes they can need a reminder. A lot of guys, hey, please mark this fragile. You got one fragile stamp on one side of it. Guy picks it up from the other side, never sees the fragile stamp, and then sees the other side, it's too late. Mark it front, mark it back, mark it side, and make certain that you have that. Fragile, handle with care, do not bend. And God willing, your book gets there without any particular issue. Yes, there are horror stories, and yes, there are people who come over, oh, look what happened to the book. But for the most part, the post office does an excellent job of getting your mail from one place to the other. But it's even better if you understand that it's, it really is your responsibility to ensure that that book is very well protected. Nothing short of something horrendous or a catastrophe should be damaging that book. I mean, unless the guy is taking the book and doing one over his knee, you should have that book very well prepared in order to go and have it marked because it's important so they know how important it is to you as well. All right, hope that answers everybody's question. I'll see you next time.